unanimous decision. The 412 has a boxing history 12 rounds long. And there's one yinzer who knows Pittsburgh boxing from corner to corner. I was little, and so I was scrapping all the time. Growing up on the north side, unofficial street bouts were routine for young Rick Stagg and Steigerwald. Finally, I got in a fight with my cousin Mike, and one of these guys coming up the street from high school, and he intervened. And what a fortuitous intervention it was. The son of a local boxing gym owner who just moved in down the street. And he said, hey, kiddo, he said, you're too little to be rolling around on that ground uh, scrapping with people. He, he said, you got to learn how to box. And I remember walking up them steps and hearing them bags going, and when I got to the top and I'm just cresting, and I see all these guys training, hitting bags, sparring, doing all this, and the noise and the atmosphere. I was like, I'm home. I'm home. Rick trained in every gym in town, and then, with a forged birth certificate, entered the amateur league at only 15 and a half. I was knocking some guys down and knocking some guys out. I could hit hard, and I did hit hard. The Stag snagged several championships but found that the real fight was outside of the ring. I would take time off after I won a championship and be back on the corner. And then I would get in trouble. And my trainer would stop by and say, get back to the gym. And, and, and I knew they were right. It's just the neighborhood was, it was slowly but surely eating you up. And then I come back in 77 and Rocky was out, had seen it and I was psyched. And it was a record crowd that year. It was 10,000 people in the Civic Arena for the Golden Gloves. 10,000. And as you can see by that picture, that's how I beat him. I stepped inside his punches. And I beat him to the punch every time. And that's how I beat the reigning champion. Soon after, Rick hung up the gloves and stepped into the role of the boy who stopped the fight with his cousin, referee. You know, I've done 10 world championship fights. I've done thousands of boxing matches, amateur and pros. Over a course of uh, probably 60 some years, maybe 70 years, We've had seven world titles here from Pittsburghers, but back in the day, it was the, our forefathers. You know, they were fighting on barges back in the day, in the early 1900s, because the city of Pittsburgh didn't want them to fight in the city because there was too many hooligans involved with boxing. Then as time went on, you had the Fritzy Zivics, Harry Greb, and then you move on to the Michael Moores and the Brian Mintos and the Paul Spadafores and the Monty Mesa Clays of my year. I refereed all them guys, and you know, you look at our, the PA Hall of Fame, there's hardly anybody in there from Pittsburgh. We're trying to change that now, and we're going to start our own Western PA Boxing Hall of Fame so people can walk by and see our history of boxing.